he being interested in sculpture was uh, sport for choice but of course it was always the Parthenon sculptures that um, filled him most and he became a wonderful interpreter of them and um, our exhibition enables us to see the Parthenon sculptures through Rodin's eyes and to a certain extent Rodin's through the Parthenon sculptures. He was greatly inspired by the fragment um, and he didn't lament the ruin of these pieces um, and the loss of heads and limbs but rather he, he celebrated this and he read that the, all the power that could be expressed in just a torso for example and this was translated into his own work and he really became um, the first artist to um, turn the headless limbless torso into a genre of art in its own right. The, the Kiss by Rodin um, is a very interesting piece and it was a great surprise to me to learn that actually these figures originated, like so many of Rodin's works, from the gates of hell. Um, and this was a project that Rodin worked on throughout his life pretty much. Um, the, it was the gates for a decorative arts museum in Paris, uh, but the museum was never built. Um, but Rodin never completely abandoned his project. Um, and he would take figures from the gates of hell and turn them into independent works of art in their own right. Um, and this is rather like um, uh, the sculptures of the Parthenon. They started off life, as it were, um, as architectural ornament. And then when they were taken off the building um, and transported to the ground, they became art objects in their own right. He, he would have loved their truth to nature, their boldness, their monumental, uh, uh, present, uh, monumental presence, but also um, their surfaces, which were so mobile, so alive, that he thought that if he put his hand on them, they would almost be warm. <laughs> 